Hi, my name's Gary Stone from Stone's Barbecue, and tonight we're going to be doing a full pack of brisket on the Workhorse Pits 1969. Tomorrow we've got friends, family and neighbours coming around for a barbecue. I'll be doing brisket, pork ribs, uh, pork belly burnt hens, uh, chicken, but uh, through the night tonight we'll be doing this brisket, which is a, a Spanish Miguel Vergara uh, brisket and uh, weighs about 13 and a half pounds at the moment before I uh, trim it down. Uh, I've not done many briskets before, so let's, uh, let's carry on without further ado. Unfortunately, as you can see with this brisket, it's got a, a cut straight down the flat, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, I'll trim up some of the flat and um, we'll take it from there. There's not a lot of fat on the top of the brisket, so we'll do the best we can. So what I'm going to do with the brisket is give it a slather of French's and then the rub I've got is a mixture of pepper, kosher salt, uh, a small amount of uh, Lowry's, some garlic powder and some onion powder. So we'll go with, with the French's first. Give it a good coat in. And then we'll go and give it a good liberal coating of the pepper, salt and seasoning mixture. Okay, so we're at the next morning now. Um, brisket's been in for around 10 hours. As you can see, the pit working really, really well. Let's see how the, let's see how the brisket is. Oh, that's looking really good. A little bit of pool in there. Feeling nice and rendered. Oh, yes. Let's see what the temp is. Should be just ready for pulling. So that's the brisket wrapped back on the smoker with a flat towards the firebox. Here we've got some ribs ready to go on. It's a mixture of spare ribs and St. Louis cut ribs with a couple of different rubs on. Okay, so the brisket's off the smoker now. That's in the oven. Uh, just warming until we're ready and what's left on the smoker at the moment are ribs pork ribs and belly pork which i'm going to turn into belly pork burnt ends uh, 
There we go. So we've got some St. Louis. Their normal spare ribs. Spare ribs. And that's just half a rack that happen to be in the pack. And these are going to be pork belly burnt ends. Some nice colour on those. Nice rendering. So we'll get them off to wrap them soon. Brisket time. Brisket's been on for 13 hours and then just wrapped in butcher's paper and then wrapped in cling film, the same as Truth's barbecue do. So I thought I'd give it a go. Hopefully it will keep some of the juice. Sorry if there's a difference in the sound quality now, unfortunately the battery in my radio mic um, failed, um, unbeknown to me. So I'm doing this bit of recording uh, on a voiceover um, back in the house. Um, basically the, the brisket cooked really well. Um, I got a little bit of juice out the uh, the butcher's paper so the uh, cling film um, did hold some of the uh, juice in there. The, um, the flat end, as you can see, um, do get very, very crisp, and I think this was probably due to the, the big cut in there. But as you can see, the, um, the point was very juicy. Um, still quite hot there. I did find when I was cutting uh, my cutting skills, either my cutting skills need a, a bit of uh, honing or my, uh, my knife needs a bit of a change. Uh, but um, I did find that some of the bark came off uh, when I was slicing. So uh, it could also be that the uh, mustard slather was a little bit thick in places and I had the bark to pull off. But overall, I was very, very pleased with the brisket. The taste was absolutely superb. The taste was spot on. Um, and I don't think the, um, the images there really do it justice. Um, but it's work in process for me, a work in progress, shall I say. And um, everyone I do, I, I, I do feel that I'm learning. Um, so th absolutely loving uh, the workhorse pits. You can see Benson, my dog, just making an appearance in the back whenever I'm cooking whether it's on the offset or the master bill or the ceramic, Benson is there, is always there. Just had a bit of a taste there and um, I think you can tell it's very good. <laughs> I have to say um, the barbecue, we had quite a few people around us. We did um, brisket, chicken, did some of the um, jalapeno cheese sausages that I made the other week. Um, and ribs and um, there was none left it all went <laughs> which was um, which is amazing you know that's what it's all about so I'm coming up um, to another clip now where um, the microphone was back on so this mic will be going off very very shortly 